The Master's Mysteries Tales of Magical Mastery Episode 27 As the story goes, Liao Fengi and Old Dao climbed to the outside of the immortal worship sect's stone chamber under the cover of darkness. They were astonished by the situation inside when suddenly, Ahuo, who had been scouting around, came running over. Oh no! We've been discovered! Liao Fengi realized, understanding Ahuo's signal. It seemed that the guards of the immortal worship sect were extremely vigilant. At this point, their presence had been exposed. It's the Wooden Army Legion. Liao Fengi exclaimed. They were still in midair, and if they were attacked, they would become easy targets, so they quickly slid down along the stone wall. Oh no, we're surrounded. What should we do? Liao Fengi pondered. However, it was too late. The Wooden Army Legion had arrived comprising more than a dozen wooden soldiers who firmly trapped the two individuals in the middle. Old Dao, lend me your treasure sword. You stay behind me, and we'll fight our way out. Liao Fengi said, realizing that their only option now was to engage in a fierce battle. He reached for the treasure sword carried by Old Dao on his back and positioned himself in front to protect him. These wooden soldiers seemed to be a specialized team responsible for patrolling and dealing with intruders. In a flash, they lunged at Liao Fengi and Old Dao. These wooden soldiers had rotating curved blades attached to their wrists, which emitted an intimidating cold light. They appeared to be formidable adversaries. Let's prioritize Old Dao. Although he has been behind me all this time, there are too many wooden soldiers rushing in. One managed to attack Old Dao, but he swiftly reacted, targeting the wooden soldier's arm and grasping it tightly. Liao Fengi strategized. However, the wooden soldier swiftly retaliated with its other hand, and despite Old Dao's attempt to dodge, he still got injured, and blood immediately began to flow. Old Dao's cry startled Liao Fengi. He realized that a wooden soldier had slipped past him and was now attacking Old Dao. Although he wanted to rush to Old Dao's rescue, he was entangled by other wooden soldiers and found it extremely difficult to break free. In his desperation, Liao Fengi swung his sword with great force, slashing several wooden soldiers in the process before quickly retreating. He noticed that Old Dao had been cornered against the wall and was about to face the deadly curved blades. Without hesitation, Liao Fengi kicked one of the wooden soldiers, sending it flying two or three meters away and freeing Old Dao from immediate danger. Old Dao, be careful. Liao Fengi warned. However, as one wooden soldier fell, more of them quickly closed in. These entities had no thoughts, fears, or exhaustion. They had a singular objective, to kill the intruders. Once again, Liao Fengi shielded Old Dao behind him. Even though there were more than a dozen wooden soldiers before them, Liao Fengi, wielding his sword, remained undaunted. Liao Fengi's movements were agile, and his punches, kicks, and sword strikes coordinated seamlessly, causing the wooden soldiers before him to suffer. It was often said that true masters were forged through real combat. Liao Fengi had learned his skills on the battlefield, and now he lacked nothing but experience. The ancient divine sword in Liao Fengi's hand was formidable, capable of cutting through these wooden beings effortlessly. Whenever it swept across them, they were instantly split in half. Despite Liao Fengi's speed, the wooden soldiers replenished their ranks even faster. They constantly closed in, gradually tightening the encirclement. Just as the encirclement was about to close completely, a sudden sound of a whistle echoed in the air. Why aren't they coming forward? Liao Fengi and Old Dao wondered as they realized that all the wooden soldiers had stopped. This unexpected turn of events puzzled them both. Look up quickly. The two individuals looked towards the sound and saw several figures standing on the cliff in front of them. Leading them was the leader of the wooden army, Old Dao. He was issuing new commands. Ha! Huh. Why are they coming towards me? As the signal fell, the wooden men in front of them started moving again. Liao Fengi noticed that they had changed their tactics. 
Instead of using a strategy of overwhelming numbers, one wooden man directly lunged towards Old Dao. Old Dao didn't have a suitable weapon in his hand, and Liao Fengi certainly wouldn't let him be at a disadvantage. Even though they hadn't fully understood the opponent's objective, Liao Fengi quickly thrust his sword towards the wooden man attacking Old Dao. This wooden man didn't possess anything extraordinary, as the sharp edge of the sword struck it. It immediately split in half and fell to the ground, losing the ability to attack again. I'm fine, but... Old Dao, are you okay? After the two of them saw the wooden man being cut down, instead of other wooden men rushing to attack, they all took two steps back, expanding the encirclement. However, at that moment, the sharp-eyed old Dao noticed something amiss. He saw the wooden man that had been cut into two suddenly tap a button on its chest. Immediately, the body of that wooden man started making a sizzling sound. Not good. Retreat. Liao Fengi had been keeping his attention on the wooden men behind them, fearing any sudden actions. But Old Dao's extensive experience in the martial world gave him an unsettling feeling from that sizzling sound that made his scalp tingle, giving him a sense of foreboding. Run. Run quickly. It's gunpowder. A sudden lightning bolt flashed through their minds. Old Dao couldn't explain in time. He pulled Liao Fengi and ran towards the other side of the stone wall. Finally, Liao Fengi understood amidst Old Dao's shouts. The two of them quickly turned around and desperately ran towards the rear. But just as they had rushed out about a dozen meters, a loud explosion and a powerful shockwave surged behind them. The force of the explosion was tremendous, instantly knocking the two of them to the ground. Dust filled the air, ringing in their ears. Kid, are you okay? Cough, I'm fine. After a while, the two of them managed to climb up from the ground. Fortunately, neither of them had suffered any major injuries, but they were filled with a sense of dread. If old Dao hadn't reacted quickly just now, the consequences would have been unimaginable. Not good, those wooden men are catching up again. Just as the explosion subsided, a flurry of chaotic footsteps followed. Liao Fengi's guess was correct. Amidst the dust and smoke, those wooden men once again closed in on them. Kid, we can't fight head on. If a few more explode, we'll both end up meeting the king of hell. Liao Fengi raised his sword, ready to charge forward, but old Dao pulled him back. Quick, let's run that way. The explosion had just ended, and the dust hadn't settled yet. Taking advantage of the chaos to break out of the encirclement was still feasible. Then, they could explore the vicinity of the Bai Qian sect. Perhaps they would make other discoveries. Dan, these wooden freaks are chasing us closely. Old Dao, there's a narrow gap over there. Let's go in and check it out. The two of them raced along the steep mountain wall, with the wooden men hot on their heels, unable to shake them off no matter what. After running for a while, the mountain wall seemed to have no end. Just when they were feeling impatient, they discovered a gorge appearing in the mountain wall. Without much thought, they immediately plunged into it. Once inside, they realized they had made the right choice. The gorge ahead was filled with sparkling stars, seeming to be an exit. The two of them felt a sense of joy and hastened their pace, rushing forward. Old Dao, those wooden freaks hadn't caught up. But at this moment, they realized they were wrong. Suddenly, a dense group of figures emerged from the exit ahead. It was the wooden army, and they had firmly blocked their path. Soon enough, the two of them realized their mistake because behind them, footsteps could be heard. They turned around and instantly understood. It wasn't that the wooden army had lost track of them. It was a trap that had been set to drive them into this predicament. Furthermore, a wave of footsteps sounded from behind, and the two of them turned to look. It became clear that the wooden army hadn't lost them. Instead, they had been lured into this trap. At this moment, both the forward and backward paths were blocked. There was no way for them to escape. Not only that, 
but they also heard a sound of wooden collisions and friction coming from above. The quantity sounded remarkably large. The two of them looked up in the direction of the sound, and their hearts sank. Between the walls of the gorge above them, several steel cables were strung, and numerous wooden men were hanging from them. These wooden men, originally lifeless and difficult to notice, were now all active, making continuous noises. Liao Fengi and Old Dao were filled with deep despair. There was no doubt that this place was the stronghold of the wooden army, or one could call it a factory. Once they reached this point, there was no hope for survival. Even if they had three heads and six arms, they would still be outnumbered. They had no choice but to be at the mercy of their enemies, still thinking of escaping. At this moment, a voice that troubled them resounded from above. You're quite lucky. That massive fire didn't burn you to death. The one speaking was the leader of the wooden army. He seemed to be highly knowledgeable in tactics. By mobilizing a portion of the wooden army, they had trapped the two of them in a dead end and intended to suffocate them layer by layer. He, but this time you're doomed. Kill them. Not mentioning the incident at Hushou Tinyu Temple was fine, but as soon as it was mentioned, Liao Fengi and Old Dao's blood boiled with anger. However, now that they were trapped, what could they do to their enemies? At the command of the wooden man Mo, dozens of wooden men leaped down from the steel cables above and quickly surrounded the two of them. Kid, I didn't expect that we would end up together like this. End up together? What nonsense! Liao Fengi ignored Old Dao's pessimistic words. He had just ventured out from the mountain, hoping to make a name for himself, but now he was dying like this. He couldn't accept it. Damn it. Let's fight to the end. Liao Fengi's determination grew stronger. Even if he had to die, he wanted to take a few more of them down with him.